Hey, what's up? I'm Rakima. Welcome to Detailed Dream, where the primary focus is to expose you to the expansive world of luxury goods for yourself and your home. I think it's safe to say candles are something most people enjoy, and that can be for many different reasons. Some people use it as a way to deal with stress and anxiety, some people use it as a form of meditation, and some people just enjoy a good smelling scent. That's never a bad thing. I love the look of a soothing flame. There are also many ways to complement those amazing looking vessels to make them fit in a bit more with your home decor styling. You can never go wrong with dressing them up with coffee table books or using some sort of coaster. But there is another way to really enhance a candle especially if the candle vessel isn't all that appealing. And that's incorporating what's called candle hurricanes. Other common names you would find that are thrown around would be in the realm of candle shade, candle chimney, or hurricane chimney. So what exactly is a candle hurricane? What is the purpose of it? And is this something that you need? Let's take a closer look into what it is first, which will ultimately answer if you need or want it. To make a long explanation short, a candle hurricane stems from a hurricane lantern or a hurricane lamp. You know those vintage oil lamps or sometimes you may see them with a taper candle inside of them. These types of lamps has always been around, like in those old vintage movies and you probably never realized what it was or the purpose. The name hurricane lamp is somewhat ambiguous. Hurricane is the name for a tall cylindrical or barrel shaped glass dome placed around a candlestick to protect the flame from drafts. A candle hurricane shade is very similar but is attached to a wall candle or candle holder. They were mostly used in the 18th and 19th century by the wealthy since candles were really expensive to buy. Hurricanes were not used with the typical lighting source for most households way back in those early days. They are primarily made for taper and pillar candles but we are not in the 18th and 19th century anymore. I use them for my scented candles and they work just fine with very good benefits and a few drawbacks I will mention shortly. Around the mid 19th century kerosene was introduced and these candle holders began to fall out of favor. I mean, you will still find many, many different styles of candle hurricanes today. They've just been modernized in a way. I feel this was still a long explanation, but I found this stuff really interesting and I'm sure someone else will too. Now, with modern day candle hurricanes, they pretty much serve the same purpose as they once did. You would typically need them to avoid any wind or drafts. For a quick example, if you would like to have a window open around a lit candle, a hurricane would definitely help with keeping it lit. I haven't tried using a hurricane for a large three wick sized candle, but I'm pretty sure it'll be useful for a patio or terrace as well. They are also very, very useful if you don't want an exposed candle in your home while it's lit. Maybe you have small curious children around and you want to avoid easy access to an open flame. And I know some people may have anxiety while having a lit candle around. You may feel like you can't leave it unattended, not even for a second. I know because I am one of those people. A lit candle cannot leave my sight because anything can happen. It's that type of anxiety where you think you left the stovetop on and you're on an airplane on the way to Dubai. Dubai sounds really nice right now. It's the first name that popped in my head. Not saying hurricanes will be the end all to every situation, but they can provide that sense of safety where there's a layer between your home and the candle flame. I do want to point out, depending on the width of the hurricane, it can get a little warm to the touch, so just be mindful of that. If you're using the open-ended cylinder style, you will also need something under the candle to protect the surface from any heat. You wouldn't need to worry about this if you have one with an enclosed bottom. I did find when burning a candle inside the hurricane, the scent was amplified so much greater than the candle just burning on its own. The subtle candles in my collection have been getting a lot of use with it, just to say the least. You continuously get bursts of scent throughout the space. It's pretty amazing. Also, if you've been dealing with tunneling issues, a hurricane will help with burning your candles more even. However, there's a bit of a caveat to these great benefits. There is always a trade-off somewhere. Since more heat is contained around the candle, the wax does burn considerably quicker. What takes three hours for a full surface melt without the use of a hurricane. Using one takes about an hour to an hour and a half. I don't know about you, but I prefer a good slow burn. I'm sure it has something to do with the width of the hurricanes that I have, which I will get into in a moment. But I will be picking up a couple of different sizes to see if there is any difference with burn time. And I'm sure having hurricanes that are too wide will almost be like not having them at all, so I have to find that perfect medium. Or if you already know, let me know in the comments. While performance of scented candles are improved drastically, just know that there may be a trade-off with burn time. 
What's incredible about hurricanes is they come in so many variations of shapes, sizes, colors, and materials. Whatever style you have in your home, you can almost be certain to find hurricanes to fit in with it, most being of a metal or your standard glass material. They provide one of the best elegant, luxurious looks to any space in a very simple way, and can be used for your taper, pillar, or scented candles, as I mentioned earlier. Hurricanes can be placed anywhere in your home as well. Your living room, family room, bedroom, and if space allows it, can be even placed in your bathroom while having some you time. And for my guys, pick up a couple of these to really impress that special person in your life. It just works. Using hurricanes are also perfect if you're hosting some form of gathering to avoid any accidents. Luxury candles can get quite pricey, so you want to protect them at all costs. Right now I have two styles of hurricanes. The standard open-ended cylinder style you can find anywhere. This set of two I picked up from Amazon. They are 9.5 inches tall and 4 inches wide. There isn't anything special about them. They're just your basic clear glass hurricanes, but they get the job done. These are a little on the slimmer side though. They fit all the candle sizes I have with no issue. Sierra Dawn being the widest does fit a little snug. There's still room to move around, but not a lot which will add to the heat you get on the hurricane. You definitely want to avoid the hot vessel touching the glass of the hurricane. So if you think you need more room, I would definitely go for a larger size. Maybe 6 inches is as wide as I'll go for your standard size candles. You also need to be mindful of the height as well. There isn't a need for a 16 inch tall hurricane when the candle itself is only four inches tall unless that's the look you're going for. You would want it to be just a few inches taller than the candle itself. This set of two costs about $30 which isn't too bad for two hurricanes but the price goes up from there depending on the width and height option. The other style I have is the ambered glass hurricanes from William Sonoma. I have the small size here and I like it so much I went back and ordered the medium size to fit my larger candles and it's now on sale for $27. $10 off their original price. I know lackluster, just like most of the Black Friday deals. But at least it's not full price, right? Right? I will have a link in the description if they're still available and you're interested. I really love the look of Ambered Glass. It adds another level of warmth besides the candle. It looks very distinguished to me. Maybe have it in a dim lit room, office, or library. This style of hurricane is only open on one side, opposed to the standard one I just mentioned that's open-ended on both sides. You wouldn't need anything underneath it. All you have to worry about is adding the candle and lighting it. The only issue I found with the size is finding a way to put the candle inside since the hole is a little too small to fit my hand inside with the candle. Without causing too much damage, I have to gently slide the candle in on the side, and it's all good from there. This is also another reason why I ordered the larger size. I'm really hoping the opening is a little bigger to allow me to easily place candles inside. I love the smaller one, but I can only place candles the size of PF in it. But no matter what style of hurricane you're using, you never want to touch it or the candle after burning. Wait until the wax is completely solid again before removing whatever candle you choose to use. There are many places to buy hurricanes. Of course Amazon is one place, but there are tons of other places like Etsy and Target. Basically any place that sells home goods, you will almost always find candle accessories. I am also looking to pick up a few hurricanes from CB2. They look amazing and will look good in my home. I would just need to prepare myself to pay that CB2 price. Something you may notice is that over time, depending on the style, hurricanes may become discolored or have a little dark soot on the rim, which is normal because it's close to a heating source because of the candle flame. It will not stay perfect as with most items that are being used, but with regular cleaning it should last a very long time. Usually when you see a little soot or excess of fingerprints is when you want to clean it with your regular dish soap. But as long as you're trimming those wigs, soot shouldn't be a cause for concern for a while. Candle Hurricanes is a tool that you can add to your collection for safety or when you want to take the look and feel of your space to the next level. Are hurricanes something that you already use? Let me know in the comments. I'm glad it's not the 18th century where we have to walk around our dark home with a hurricane lamp. And imagine not being able to afford one. You have to keep relighting your candle every time the lightest wind blows it out. Well, that's going to be it for today's conversation. As always, thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next one.